Well, here's this is my review on 2012's The Dark Knight Rises, the final and so in the Dolan trilogy. Oh boy. Um. It's something, alright. Uh, something as a film as the previous installments. It's also better than the previous ones. It's I just woke up, so my brain's still waking up. Okay, so it's been 20 years since Batman, and also Bruce Wayne has been seen in the public eye, and, uh... And, uh, Gordon gets seriously injured in the hospital from, uh, Bane and his men put him in the hospital. Gordon, well, I will say Gordon is much, has much more to do in this film. There's much more in this film than in the other films. Uh, however, it does bother me they made Gordon crooked. Uh, crooked cop, so, um... And that's because he went with the lie of, of falling, falling along Batman's lie, so he's now a crooked cop since the ending of the Dark Knight, so... And, um... There's a paper that he wrote to... Say some few words about Harry Dent. Turns out it's basically him just coming clean, saying that he must be tired because he can't live with the lies. Uh, because uh, we found what it says once Bane reads it to a giant crowd on TV. After he's going to get busted out in the yes, busted out of the hospital by uh, Robin. That's his name, Robin. Who plays a who's a cop who's who gets put on to detective duty? Robin gets put on to detective duty, and uh, Robin bails going out of prison and saves him from the go Bane's goons. In the meantime, he just like plays dead. Uh, basically, might not like know him know that anybody that well, not like him anybody know that he's still alive. So yeah, Gordon's operating in the shelves, basically up in the shelves while Batman's out of town, and has dislocated his back by going toe to toe with Bane, and uh, somehow Bane already know his secret identity. And that's how Catwoman finds out, but she's not called Catwoman, she's called Selena Kyle. Also known as she also referred to as well, we also refer to as the Cat Burglar. Yes, we uh yes. <laughs> uh so uh Um that's when Selena Kyle feels bad for betraying I guess feels bad for betraying Bruce Wayne because I like, guess the had something. <gasps> Something that's romantic relationship, blah blah blah, and um, yes, all that they had a romantic relation, blah blah blah, that blah blah blah, and it's Savannah so ends up in a cave, unmask, and this doctor. Helpfully helps Batman out by relocating his back into place. You see in the comics, 
uh, Bane breaks Batman's back. But in the movie, he just dislocates it. With, with slamming Batman's back on his knees, just like in the comics, but uh, he doesn't break it. Uh, so he's in the cave for quite a while and it takes many times to recover. For, for quite a bit to recover from uh, the backing back into place. And, uh, and uh, he keeps on falling from uh, the uh, hole. He keeps on trying to climb the uh, climb out of the hole that's where the cave is. And uh, then one day he decides the way this he's probably seen that person says, "You can do it." But without the rope, therefore fear will find you again. Ah, yes. <laughs> and if he falls, he will die. <laughs> because he convinces Bruce Wayne, Bat as Bat Bruce Wayne. That uh, like that uh, fear is the ultimate way to uh, succeed at his goal, because fear makes you faster and stronger. <laughs> fear is the ultimate superpower. <laughs> it basically, is how you go super Saiyan beyond your limits. <laughs> uh. Anyway, it works, and he jump cuts back to Gotham in his Batman suit, and to uh, and gets enough time to uh, have go, go, gets enough time to save going to tell him to light up the Batman, the light it, light the uh, flare, and uh, and let and uh, with his trail of gasoline that performs this perfect Batman symbol. On the bridge, and that's how everyone knows that Batman is back. And Brain Bain delivers this, this line: "Impossible." <laughs> he sounds like a pretty Sean Connery. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Batman teams up with Gordon and the rest of GCPD was lost of them to uh, fight Bane and Zombie and dismantle the bombs that Bane has uh, that Bane has the trigger for. And they succeed on all that fighting Bane and Zombie, but there's a twist. Batman gets stabbed in the rib. And finds out that it wasn't Bane coming to all these actions. He wasn't. The, he was just nearly the puppet of, of, of this uh, master master plan. But it was really S Italia, the person he fucked, and, and have one way uh, one one way uh, one on one time over over one night. And he he feels very betrayal. Batman is in shock just because he has sex with her on one night. And spent a one night with her, and now it finds out that she was her her, her names the full names, the, her names not this the is her names. Uh, her name is basically she, I forget what her name is, Natalia. Yes, Natalia turns out is the daughter of Ray Shall Go, but in the known films known as Rouse Al Go. Played by none other than Liam Neeson, who Batman let died in the train accident, in a train accident, into a fire explosion, because he couldn't go through with murdering, uh, taking out, murdering uh, his her father and taking a life. Instead, she should just like she, he, but he could go with through was letting him die, and Batman begins, and uh. Because his father would be pr and mother would be proud of him for not taking a life, but will also be proud of him letting a man die, 
That is the Batman way. <laughs> that is the... Oh boy, uh, so, uh... She explains that her whole dive bar plan was to, uh... That this was all this movie was her whole dive bar plan. What is this movie? She explains while she's monologuing and stabbing Batman in the, in the, in the, with a knife and trying the rip. And it's. It's. Just, uh, oh, um. It's kind of anticlimactic to find out that she was the master of my behind all of this because. I don't know, she's not as good at playing the villain as she is playing the, uh. And she's not really good at playing the villain as Bane is, you know, and doesn't get us into it. For some reason, I feel like this 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 this, this student one like I feel like this this got changed in the last minute from from the basically he just like got this studio wants us so uh, he just changed it for the heck of it. I just don't know why she had to be in this film, Natalia. This oh, what was wrong with being being the mastermind? Oh, it's because we have a smart, intelligent version of Bane. That's more brains than bronze. But no, we have a brain that's all b b brains and bronze. More bronze than brains. So like the bang from uh, Batman and Robin. Instead of the bang from the comics. Oh shit. That's terrible. <laughs> that means this is a terrible bang again. <laughs> we got another shitty bang. Oh boy. So, Batman. Batman. Uh. Makes a heroic sacrifice after blowing a bridge up with the Hubble going in to. And then plans on stopping the bomb. And Natalia, as she. Her final last words is My father's. Achievement will be achieved. My father's dream, and I, I, this bomb will not stop. Nothing will stop this bomb from going off. And blah blah blah. These are my last five words, and now I die. <laughs> she just like, collapses. She just collapses like a fucking man. <laughs> Can't have. And uh, she dies with her. She dies with with her eyes closed. Or oh, uh, her eyes closed somehow. It's a really shitty death scene. Her death is poorly done. <laughs> you don't believe that that's even a dead corpse. You just think that someone that does, is trying to play dead but doesn't know how. <laughs> oh, so uh, Batman makes a horrible sacrifice and attaches the Batwing to the bomb and flies it out of Gotham City. Well, he's taking on firepower and I was fast the 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 firepower, the missiles, by, uh, by, uh, dodging them and dodging them. And, uh, flies out of Gotham City into a river away from Gotham City so Gotham City can be saved and Batman can die as the explosion goes up because there's no autopilot. Or so we sing until Morgan Freeman's dad found, found out the play, that plays, that plays Bruce Sparks, find out that he fixed the autopilot and faked his death. <laughs> <laughs> and this is happens. He finds himself after he faked his death out of the explosion and stuff. We, we, whenever the whole world's going for grief and over Batman and Bruce Wayne gone, uh, and everyone's just like, uh, then everyone's all crying, <laughs> depressed and stuff. And this is after Corn finds out that Bruce Wayne is Batman, and uh. And uh, then Morgan Freeman is the first person to find out that Bruce Wayne's alive because he found out he fixed the autopilot. That's that's how we know he's alive. And then, <laughs> and then Alfred sees him on a date with Selena Kyle when he's getting a cup of tea at the <laughs> a cup of tea at place. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> and then Gordon finds out he's also alive because he sees that Batman fixed the bat signal. <laughs> so stupid. 
And this happens after, you know, Morgan Freeman finds out in mind, and this gets more laughable each time we see he's one of these, they're still alive. For each, for each person, you know, it's just... And then, uh, and then Robin finds out that Batman's also alive because he donated the money to the way he's found, the way he found, he donated all the money, the he said the money's going to get, really get paid for the way he's orphanage found, from the Wayne Foundation because that was for part of his free will. I mean, that was part of his, uh, will. And therefore, now Robin knows he's alive, so he can go into the Batcave and become Robin or Batman. It's unclear who he's going to become, but bro, <laughs> oh, that we he's going to become. So, uh, and this is when we find out his legal name is Robin. His first legal name is Robin. <laughs> wow, that's stupid. And this happens when a girl's flirting with him saying she likes that name. You should use that one, Robin. This sending sucks. Yeah. But the movie's pretty good other than that, you know? I give this an 8 out of 10. It's definitely the best out of the trilogy. Batman is still a, nine, a 6 out of 10, and, uh, Dark Knight just sucks. That's a 0 out of 10. And, uh, Batman is still pretty good. Uh, this movie is, is the most awesome out of the trilogy. The Dark Knight Rises. But this is a very confusing ending. It's like, <laughs> it's <laughs> although uh, yeah I would say that this film that even though the rest of the, this film like the entire trilogy the every aspect ratio is, uh, the aspect ratio is crop which fucks up the company can look kind of cartoony and you can't really see all the action scenes that well, this one you can see the best amount of as you can see the uh most this one you can see the be, uh, the action scenes most of the time at the best amount of the out of the trilogy if you want to see this action scenes this uh besides turn the best free act structure in the tight trilogy it's like uh this one has the most good things to say about it. The, the, this movie has the best things about this Thai troll. It also has, you know, it's problems, but it has also the least amount of problems out of the entire troll G. So, and the, my favorite problems is that it ends on, a, it feels like it, 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 like how it ends, it feels like a cliffhanger ending. It's, it doesn't feel like a conclusion like it was advertised. Saying that this was going to be the final conclusion to the Dark Knight movie. It, it was advertised as the epic conclusion. But it doesn't feel like an epic conclusion. It feels more like a... Uh, it feels more like it's setting up something. Uh, like another chapter in Batman's life where he has a partner, you know? Like, it, it's just... But it never, it's not, it's not a fourth map, this, so it's like... It just seems like a bit of a waste. The end, how they ru ruined the ending by ruining it and writing themselves into a corner. So, yeah. Actually, I think no one wrote this ending with the script of this one in uh, the title. So, he kind of wrote himself in the corner. If that's the case, if I'm remembering right. Uh, so, yeah. That's my view on the Dark Knight Rise. So, I give this 8 out of 10. It's, it's still pretty good. It's just not. It's, well, it's, yes, it's a little confusing when it gets to the end. The la very last thing at the end, like, because you feel like they're setting up something, uh, not, like, not ending something of a, of a trilogy, you know? And that's it, uh, yeah. <laughs>